Ivermectin. Hey, uh, miss? Asked the human. Fluttershy turned towards him, made momentary eye contact, and then lowered her head, letting her hair fall over one eye. She pawed at the concrete at the sidewalk and used a wingtip to adjust the paper-like surgical mess that she wore over her nose and mouth. Y yes Could you do me a favor? Um, yes Fluttershy squeaked. She dipped her head lower, afraid of what the human might ask. He pointed at the tractor supply store. Any chance you could go inside and buy me some ivermectin? D tea warmer? Fluttershy asked. Why can't you buy it? They won't sell it to me. Fluttershy leaped up, planting her forehoofs on his chest. She stretched her neck, almost moving his mess-covered nose with hers. They won't help you deworm your livestock? Oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is- We have to get back to your farm right now. I know plenty of better ways to deworm livestock. She hovered at his head level, clasping his hand between her forehoofs. Come on, come on, show me your car and we'll get your adorable animals all sorted out. But- I know a wonderful organic tea that we can brew. Horses and cattle love it. The ingredients are black tea leaves, organic turmeric, and powdered breezy dung. But... <sighs> Edmund pushed the dark sunglasses further up his nose and checked his mask. He pushed through the doors on the farm store as if he had done that every day of his life and strode to the medication section in the back. A large handwritten sign said, Ivermectin will only be sold to horse owners. Must show pick of you and your horse. Edmund coughed twice. Shit, the cough was getting worse. He needed the ivy. Stupid FDA not letting people get the medicine that they needed. The cashier at the checkout rolled her eyes and said, uh, Do you have a picture of you and your horse? Edmund unlocked his phone and found the picture from the party last year. The party with all the rum and the beer kegs, and he only remembered it because of the pictures. Like, this picture. The picture of him balls deep in the light blue pegasus with a rainbow mane and tail, both of them smiling at the camera. Edmund making a thumbs up. He wished he knew who had been holding the phone to snap that picture. He really did. He slapped the camera to the plexiglass barrier and the cashier's eyes widened. She rang up the order without another word. Prove you have worms. I'm sorry, what? Janet replied. The unicorn lowered her head, looking haughtily over the top of her sunglasses. If you wish to worm her, darling, then you must have worms. Surely an email or message from your physician? She gestured to Janet's phone. Well, but... You see, your problem is your mask. Janet touched her face. My mask? It's so... Ugh, plain. A new style will give you a new attitude, and we all feel better when we are our best selves. Immunity is but an aspect of personality, and the mask carries no personality at all. Silk, yes, lavender silk to compliment your yellow hair, and Merlot's stars in the silk to compliment your green eyes. Hey, no, that's not... The unicorn saddlebags levitated open, and she extracted bolts of fabric right there in the parking lot of the shopping center. Quiet, darling. I'm creating. Hey, unicorn! Our name is Trixie, the great and powerful Trixie. So, uh... Trixie? Said Philip. I need a fa- Ivermectin. Wait, how'd you- Give Trixie one hundred dollars, and Trixie keeps the change. Philip boggled at her, his jaw dropping open. One hundred and fifty dollars because you aren't wearing a mask and are breathing on Trixie. Her magic gently adjusted her mask, which matched perfectly with her cape and wizard's cap. <sighs> Two tubes for one fifty. Trixie keeps the change still. Fine. Philip gave her seven twenties and two fives. Trixie levitated them into her purse, and head held high and humming off key, she trotted into the feed store. She trotted past the medicine to the treats aisle and grabbed a 15 pound bag of Purina apple and oat horse nugget treats, paid $15.99 plus tax from one of the 20s the fellow had given her, and then boldly strode out to the back employee's entrance across the rear parking lot and to the next street, neatly avoiding the human who would, after all, simply have hurt himself by taking horse anti worm paste for a virus. Hey, hey, unicorn! Starlight. Philip looked up. Uh, it's noon. My name? She said through gritted teeth. It's Starlight. Oh, uh, yeah, um. Starlight rolled her eyes and teleported away with a snap. Philip boggled at where she had been. Well, at least that one didn't cost me 150. And then she returned with the teleport and levitated a tube of ivermectin to him. Oh, hey, Philip said. Thanks. And then she disappeared again. The retractor supply employees and a uniformed cop came running out of the store, getting hung up in the slow automatic sliding door. There, there! He's got the dewormer! Shoplifter! Uh, hey, hey, are you three sure... Little Jimmy asked. Of course it's safe, Scootaloo said. I invented it, didn't I? 
Sweetie Belle looked at the clipboard and adjusted her lab coat. All the sums are numbers, except the ones that are emojis. Stupid spreadsheet. And after we tested it... Apple Bloom said. We buy the Avermectin for your grampy. Why can't I wear a life jacket? Jimmy asked, looking suspiciously at the lake. Apple Bloom heaved, using her Earth Pony strength to point the trebuchet towards the deeper section of the lake. Well, why can't your grampy go to the hospital? He says they're too full. Jimmy fidgeted in the trebuchet slang. Well, good thing this is guaranteed to work. Scootaloo said, yanking out the firing pin. The woman approached Stellar Flare and Sunburst nervously. Hello, I was wondering... Stellar Flare looks her up and down. She was tall with slim legs that were shown off by shorty shorts and high-heeled boots. Her teats, although oddly on her chest like all human teats, poked against a tight black shirt. A paper surgical mask was pulled down below her nose and a silver nose ring was rubbing a threadbare spot on the top edge of the mask. Well, hello. There's the tractor feed store there that, uh, tractors eat diesel, Sunburst said. The woman closed her eyes and took a deep breath, visibly counting to ten. She opened her eyes and said, The feed store could really use some, well, horse dewormer, but they won't sell it to me. Oh, Sunburst, get in there and buy the nice young lady two tubes. But mom, no, she's gonna use it to- Stellar Flare clamped her aura around a snout. Mm-mm. Stellar picked him up, levitated him through the automatic doors, and dropped him, leaving him sprawled on his chest, knocking his glasses off. As soon as the door shut behind him, Stella looked up and down the woman's body again and said, You know, my son's single. Hey! The human said, stepping in front of Gilda and holding up a hand in a stop gesture. She bowled him right over, her muscular bulk knocking him face first into a wall. <laughs> Dweeb. Y'all want me to... what? Applejack said, pushing her hat back on her head and adjusting her mask. Get me as many tubes of ivermectin as they'll sell you. Why didn't you just get the vaccine? There ain't been a pony hospitalized in ten months on account that we all lined up and got our shots. What, what do I look like? Asked the man. A sheep? And when the shopping center security guards arrived, AJ had him in a headlock, punching him in the head with a forehoof like an equine Nolan Ryan. And each time she said a word, she punched him. Call. Me. A. Sheep. One. More. Tom. Lightning Dust reclined on the stack of ivermectin crates, smiled saucily, and flipped her tail just so to ever so barely cover her vulva. The camera's self-timer beeped and then the flash fired. She blinked and stood, carried the camera to her computer, and checked the picture. Nineteenth <sighs> time's the charm. It was perfect. The softbox flashes gave her freshly shampooed and conditioned coats a wonderfully diffused glow. And the fast 1.2 lens had been focused precisely on her eyes with the rest of her body, and the $10,000 worth of Hursty Wormer fading off into a soft bokeh. She edited it in Lightroom to enhance the color in her eyes and softly darken the edges of the frame. She uploaded the picture to Facebook and made the same post in a half dozen of the secret groups about the drug that shall not be named, lest Facebook notice the group and shut it down. Got 200 cases of eye, sent a PM, $500 per case plus $1 per mile, round trip, I'm in Boone, North Carolina. For an extra $500, you can find out what my tail was covering. Bitcoin, or fuck off. Within 50 seconds, the first transfer of Bitcoin came in. Welcome, welcome! Pinky shouted at her webcam. Welcome to another YouTube edition of Equestrian Baking for Humans. She adjusted her chef's toque and moved Gummy out of the shot. Do you know what's really sucky? Dewormer medication. When my little cheese got worms, she just wouldn't take his medicine. So I found out how to make it yummy yummy on a little tummy. She leaned into the camera and whispered conspiratorially, Just kidding. Back to her normal shouting, It tastes awful no matter what. So today, we're going to be making ghost pepper chocolate coconut chunk cupcakes to cover up the taste. Given what the medicine does to human digestive tracts anyway, the ghost pepper won't make a difference. As it turns out, said the lavender alicorn, I happen to be the principal scientist on a double-blind placebo-controlled study of the effectiveness of ivermectin as a SARS-CoV-2 prophylactic. I'm sorry, what? I'm testing it. Oh, oh. Uh, can you test it on me? She shook her head. No, I'm sorry. You're clearly not smart enough to give informed consent. I honestly cannot tell what happened. All I know is that someone's fucking someone, and they need medicine for it, but they- I could be a dumbass right now, I'm just- being frank with you. Either way, it was still entertaining regardless. Anywho, let's get on to our immortal donators. Top donators Peter Coldhard, Jay Tin Man, Darkseid, Gauntlet, and only one thing. 
TacoCat598, Zar630, Strix, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Drake Love Dragon, Pastel Skies, Austin Rowland, CrazyKiller557, Stu Hex, Will, Omicron Lyrae, Dosbo, Delta Omega, Jack Hedge, Runescythe9852, Madman Stan, Lizzie Perkett, Hunter Norman, Stephen Bingham, Line God12, and many more fantastic people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.